This over here, up here on the left, you can see a sea urchin. Okay, the sea urchin, yes. The sea urchin, they're very, they have a lot of spikes. Some of them are dangerous, some are not very dangerous. This one's kind of dangerous because the spikes are very sharp. And every every spike has reverse spikes. So when someone is to step on it, you cannot pull it back out. You have to go to the hospital and they burn it with acid to take it out. So it, it's very dangerous, you have to always be careful. Especially at night. Okay? And during the day, when, not only that, during the day they like to hide. They're, they're nocturnal animals. So they hide in caves, they hide anywhere they can. At night, they all come out to hunt. At night, so you will switch off the light? You will, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, switch off the light. Yes, switch off the light. Yes, always. At night, in the sea, if you go in the sea at night, you like some people they like to go something they do something called night diving. Yeah, yeah, and they go diving in the dark, okay, at night. When they do this, they have like little flashlights where they can see them, and you can see these all over the floor. So at night, they all come out. So you have to be very, very careful if you ever want to go night diving or swimming at night. Be very careful because they might come out, and you don't want to step on one of them. Okay. His face is very small. Yeah. Okay, and then here we have the garden eels. Garden eels. Okay, they're very small. They like to hide inside the dirt. And they, once, from the minute they're born, their whole life, they always stay under the sand. They know, even if they want to move from one place to another, from under the sand. They go under, and they move under, and then they, they relocate from under the sand. The only time they ever come is if they are dying. So if they feel, or not necessarily dying, but like if they feel they are sick. So like in the wild, if they feel they're sick and they're dying, they just come out, they just die. But here, if we see they're sick and they start coming out, we have a veterinarian that can take care of them. And then maybe they'll survive and we'll put them back inside. Okay, so they have a better chance well, because we have someone to take care of them.